Day 56. We've got some beef ribs and an entire cow's liver. My God, they're ginormous things. Everybody's excited. I've already dished out a little bit already. I have to put the camera down and I'm alone. So I'll try and do my best here. Maybe if I did this like that. That was Manny. Okay, now my hands are going into this bloody thing of liver over here, which is why I don't have the camera. Maybe if I just use one glove, hopefully I'll we'll still steal that from me. And I can take the camera again to my left hand and I'm right-handed. And watch. Here's Wasty having her chunk of liver. There you go. Bang. She's full of blood. It's her third piece. These guys love this. Move. Quick, but he's going to fall. There you go. Off he goes. Uh, and Manny. There you go. Now all the little ones. They love this stuff too. See, they're bugging him for it. He won't give it to them. He can't even put it down. Cause he's not up, 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 Manny, up, 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 buddy, up, up. He won't take it from you if you get up on the. There you go. There is a, there's a cypress having her piece. She's smart. Must he still? Showing on hers. <laughs> the Cypress having another giant chunk of liver. There's pieces all over the place here now. Hi, man. It's too see Hey, buddy. You want that? Want a chunk of liver? Huh? Yeah, bud. How's that? <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm picking up liver and stuff that the, the puppies aren't eating giving it to their, their mom because she'll partially digest it and puke it up for them later the move hurry up buddy there he comes there he comes there's a big guy he loves this it's one of his all-time favorites it's a big chunk of beef liver that was about two pounds of it he just had well hello there miss cypress there you go. Have another one of these too. There she is. <laughs> you, I just gave you one. It's right there. She had a backup. Want another chunk? How huh, many? One piece? I have to try one of these. Hey, hey. Food thief, you got them all over the place. She will steal his food and he will just let her. Oh, yeah. 
There you go. Come here. I know what you want. I don't watch her. She might be burying it. Yeah, see, that's what she does. She just takes it and gives it to the pups. That little one there is not interested in any more liver. She's had a fill of liver. She likes those short ribs, though. Look at that. Off she goes. Muji. Have a rib, buddy. It's a pretty nice day up here in Canada today. It's, uh, I don't know, it's probably about three degrees, maybe. <clears throat> maybe a little, a little warmer than that. Just waiting for another piece so she can just go give it to somebody else. One of her puppies who has lots herself. There. Themselves, I mean. Up, up. Come here. Up, up, here. Good girl. Good girl. Eat it up. There you go. There you go. Another piece. Eat that up. Good girl. That's my good girl. Oh, she's going to go give it to somebody. Probably him. That was Thunder. Yep. Bang. Maybe her belly's full. I'm gonna take her for a walk after this one. She's pacing on the door. She knows what's going to happen. But I kind of can't do that with, um, the camera running at the same time because they're more and Manny will be running free to watch them at the same time. So the only time I can take walking videos is when my buddy's with me. And she usually walks Wasty. Wasty's used to being walked by her. Sorry, I'm losing my camera. There it is. Yeah, so, um, it's very difficult to keep them untangled from each other. Emily gets tied up in her, her line and such. Tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to film another vid of Wasti and her four youngins on their first as a family visit to the vet. The puppies are all going to get their shots tomorrow as will Wasti. have to protect her. There's known to be bats, foxes and raccoons in the area, probably skunks too, that carry rabies. The last one thing you want is, is a big animal like this getting rabies on you. I mean, what a loss in the first place. And then on top of that, it's it's just dangerous. So we keep our animals up to date on other shots and everything. She is going to vomit up some food. See, did you see it happen? There she goes. See, now it's pre-digested. It's a lot easier for them to digest. That's what she does. They, she, uh, she can't help it. It's part of the hormones, maybe, that make her do it because it's not about them bugging her to do it, and then she does it. She sort of gears up, goes and uh, gains the attention of a couple of them, and then you want some more? Hey, boss. What's you? What's you? There you go. Good girl.
these little puppies are not so little anymore as you can see they're getting pretty good my god look at that animal how beautiful she is there's just no way that these videos do her justice i'm sorry they just don't all of them he's he's really lightened up this guy right here that's thunder and he's he's uh He's going to be probably the color of his grandfather, Immel. It looks like it, because Immel was sort of that that color. It was a little lighter though. But Immel was never that light. I've never had a puppy that light before. Well, she's not from my kennel, her. We lucked out finding her. The lady that owns her parents also makes some pretty amazing animals as you can see Skew. my hand is in a bucket of blood as you can see and um, she's eating this bloody cow's liver right from my hand without tearing my hand off as you can see she allows me to hold it while she gnaws away on it. Now when they come as puppies, they're not, they're not, it's not advised to do this because the puppy's teeth are like needles. And the puppies can bite you by mistake and not know it. And when they do, it's, it's, like, it's like getting four big hypodermics driven into your flesh. It's not a, not a fun thing at all. And uh, also, they're, they're kind of still in... I better eat this really quick before the others get it from me mode. And uh, once they realize, once they're home and they realize that their their people won't keep their won't take their food from them, they go off. She's licking the bowl. She always gets to lick the bowl. That's her thing. The boys won't do it. They stick their head in and lick lick and then me. She's uh, she's right into it. I'm not filming her do it because I thought that this. You folks probably come here to see the puppies more, so. And, uh, now, a week from this coming Sunday. So, today is a Thursday. So, a week and three days from now. This one down here, now where is she? It's She's right here, she's got her back to us. That dark one her back to us, I think it was her. No, it's her, she's over there with her mother. Um, anyway, you know her as she used to be, Lightning, and the, the lad that got her named her Cypress. Hi! I totally want to keep that little white one right there. Man, I wish I could. If I had another kennel, I'd so keep her. I honestly hope somebody buys her, and I hope they buy her as a breeding animal. And, and it, like, give her a litter. And, and let me help them find a suitable mate for her. And man, she's going to make some just insanely, insanely beautiful animals. Her proportions are perfect. They all are, but with her, it's the proportions with her color as well. It's just, as you can see, she's lighter. She's lighter behind than she is in front. She gets, she fades to white. Her back legs and her tail goes white. She's got that little tiny black line just, just on the back of her tail. There's Cypress right there. Hi, babies. Hello. Oh, how cute is that? Hello, babies. Hello. Oh, shabby, shabby, shabby. Oh, look at you guys. Yes, I know you want to lick the blood off my hands. Yeah, yeah that's a blood on my hands. Yeah, come here. Oh. I'm on the hunt looking for whatever mom's got. Now she's burying it for later. That great big ogre right there. Here he comes. He'll find it and eat it later. He always does. 
Himmel is insanely smart. I don't think he's as smart as Manny, but he's more cunning than Manny is for sure. Manny's smart in a way that he listens really easily and he learns really, really quick. Himmel's cunning in the way that he's the guy that gets all the food that everybody hides. Oh, well, you see what they just did to the platform. Yeah, they did that like yesterday. This is crazy. So I have to come in here on the weekend when I get some help. My son's coming to visit me next week. So maybe I'll get him to help me too. And we'll come out here and do a bunch of repairs on this thing. Weather pretty good over the winter. This whole pen was only supposed to be a semi-permanent uh, semi structure. After the winter, we were planning in another month or so to start um, fixing it up, making it better. We've got some steel roofing that we're going to apply to the walls as well. Sandwich the wood between it. This will, oh hi, I'm all, oh, I had a good drink and now he's over here looking for some scratches and cuddlings. I love you too, buddy. You're awesome. Keep your head down so the movies work. Come on, you big jerk. See, she's uh, burying that, that, that chunk of liver over there up against the, the fence. And you can see the dig garage, you see that? She can't dig, she's standing on that grid, on that dig garage, you see? It's, it's bent. And it comes into the pen flat and then up against the, the wall with the, the brace at the bottom. That weird sound you just heard was Manny choking on a piece of straw. He got a bunch of straw, you see him over there. Straw stuck to his liver and then he tries to eat it. Tries to eat it and well, that straw gets cut and he's, he's trying to hacks it up. I used to put the food in bowls. It's absolutely uh, just a futile, a futile um, activity. Because they come off, they pull the food out of the bowl and they drop it in the straw. There we have it. So I just give it to them and they do the same thing. I don't even bother putting it in the bowl anymore. Hi, Cyprus. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> you all happy now? Your belly's full, huh? This one here is working on a one of them uh, beef ribs I gave them. You get a dog out of this kennel, you can be sure that when your dog comes to you, it's just packed with muscle. Its bones are really super thick and strong. Won't have hip hip problems. No spinal issues. I said this in another video. The, the, the one thing that seems to be their enemy is if you feed them kibble, canned dog food, um, store-bought sugary and salty treats, pork, any, any pork. Uh, yeah, anything like that. And that's when they're going to get sick and they get what's called pancreatitis. And it's not, not a pretty sight. Your dog starts suffering. It's not pretty at all. So part of the contract of getting these things is that you're going to feed it raw meat. Now the silver lining to this is that in our experience we have found a whole lot of people who have taught us a lot of different things about where to obtain proper diet for these guys without hunting it down and killing it yourself because that's just ugly um, or letting them do it because it turns them into killers of course so if you buy one of our dogs I can tell you that I can teach you how to feed this dog for about a third of what it cost if you fed it kibble which is poison to the dog. That's one third, one third. So 
a big dog like that right there that big guy it would cost you about oh somewhere within the vicinity of 150 bucks a month to feed him with kibble and um and that's because you're feeding him with really really good kibble you could do that for 50 dollars a month but he'd only live to be seven or eight years old he had cancer and all kinds of tumors and everything you feed him the best there is and he'll live to be 10 maybe 12 and die of cancer with all kinds of tumors and shit like that so you feed him raw and um his grandfather outlived any other dog i ever met 20 years crazy 20 years before he died i met him just before then well I, i've met him many times before that but i got to he lives a long ways away from me but i was down there and i got to visit him before he passed on he was a magnificent animal just like all of his offspring I'm going to show you what you can do with a Volga Wolfhound. This is a wolf dog, okay? You see him? He was gnawing on that bone. Man, can I have that bone? Thank you. See? There you go, buddy. Good boy. He's growling at the puppies, not me. Easy, buddy. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> he gave her royal. He gave her royal. That's a Canadian saying. Gave him royal shit. That's what they says down east. I imagine they say it in other parts of the world too. Different ways. Anyway. This is one of the better and exciting videos I've, I've shown. She's off to uh, feed those dogs again, I think. No, she's avoiding them, actually. She doesn't want to feed them, I think. That's, that's her issue. She's doing it. What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Hey, may I do this? He's got a big blood stain on his back from on his side. I mean, there. That's not his blood. That's just from that liver. That liver I got was an entire cow's liver. It was still in the bag right out of the butcher. Like right out of the slaughterhouse, I think. So it was just it was just dripping with blood. It hadn't been drained, I guess what they call it. I don't know what you call it when you drain the blood. But it hadn't been drained with the blood or anything. But these guys like that, and that kind of stuff is good for them too. If you own a German Shepherd, you take it off of the kibble and the dog food and you put it on um, an all raw diet and about twice a year you get a chicken euthanize it and then give the whole chicken to your dog hi bud hi hi the guy turned out to be so friendly hi how's it going oh he's such a good boy oh he wants his belly rubbed this guy is a belly rub junkie he is this is manitoucis and Manitoucis is going to probably, he's going to someday be minimal 130 pounds. I'm going to guess 155, 150 on his, in his heyday when he's, he's big and muscular and impressing everybody that he 